I've told people that this is my 40th year of teaching, but in some ways I feel like a first year teacher again because we've had to change and adapt to teach uh, the same type of concepts and ideas we always have, but in a little bit different format. In order to do the rehearsals and follow the guidelines of the CDC and the University of North Dakota, we've had to do a, quite a bit of adapting. The first one is to have everyone sitting, sitting at least six feet apart from each other. Um, we've also had to find ways to, that they could continue to play with a mask on. Um, we've asked, uh, had ma special masks made and we hired seamstresses in the community to do this for us with a slit across the middle where they can put their mouthpiece in to play. On top of that, we've hired, hired a seamstress to make uh, bell covers for the instruments to help cut down on the aerosols that are coming out. Um, that helps uh, control what's happening in the space there. It wasn't the same doing everything over Zoom calls. It, uh, that in-person aspect really uh, makes a huge difference in our major. And it's just so different playing by yourself or singing by yourself to a screen versus being able to actually make music with the people around you, it just doesn't compare. I think despite all these precautions, I'm very glad to do it because I know that around the country and around the world, there are people who aren't lucky enough to even be meeting for classes, period. And so to be able to have this experience, I'm very, very grateful for that. But I know for people, whether they're a music major or not, this is the most normal it gets for them. They're just grateful to be here to make something, even if it looks a little different. And when I go to choir, it just, it makes me, just feel, I want to say free inside, and it just makes me happy, and like the rest of the day I'm just in a good attitude because I got to sing in choir, so I'm really, really thankful that we can still sing. One of the things that we are struggling with is we have our timpanist, who is probably 20 feet on the other side of the stage, completely separate from the rest of us, so really, like, focusing on what others are doing and not so much on what you're doing. Of course that's important, but I have never found myself like listening across as intently as I do now and it's really eye-opening and I think I've really grown as a musician because of it. They're so passionate about wanting to make music together. Making music is about building a community and that's what we're really struggling to try to make sure we do is build that community and allow them the opportunity to make music with others and learn and interact together because that's what feeds their soul.